What is up everybody, Bandit and Chad here. So we were at the Overland Expo a few weeks ago in Bedford, Virginia, and we got to meet the guys from Rock Creek Overland, and we also got to meet Bill Simmons, who's the Director of Corporate Marketing for Roster Precision Controls. And what Roster does is they make aftermarket electronic components for a lot of different vehicles, including Toyota. Uh, we were fortunate enough to get this box from them, and what this is, is an aftermarket seat warmer for our trucks. So unboxing it here, it does have a full um, set of directions and everything like that. And then you'll see the bag here. So what this is, is uh, these sheets here are the two heating components, one for the back, one for the butt of the seat. And then it does come with all of your wiring and everything else. Uh, it looks like a pretty straightforward job. This will go on under the upholstery between the foam and the standard cloth on the trucks. And then it comes with the standard switch and everything that should fit the Toyota uh, switches and, and everything like that. So it should have a pretty factory look. But um, see, my truck from the factory is the uh, enhanced technology package. So my truck does have the heated seats and everything like that from the factory. But Chad's truck and the rest of the normal TRD models and the lower SR and SR5 models won't come with heated seats. So if you are living in a colder environment, and uh, especially this time of year, you probably are wishing you had heated seats. And I think this should be a pretty good option for you. So we'll go ahead and install this today. Uh, starting off here, we did go ahead and disconnect the battery. It is a 10 millimeter on these trucks. So, you know, go ahead and take the negative off that terminal. And we went ahead and start unbolting the seats. Uh, they are 14 millimeter all the way around. So we'll get that seat out, get it in the work area, and we'll get started. So here's a look at all the tools we use for this project. We use an assortment of screwdrivers and pliers. We use mainly a 10 millimeter and a 14 millimeter socket uh, for the battery and removing the seats. Also some electrical tape, some wire cutters, and some wire strippers for the electrical portion of it. Also a sharpie marker and something to make some cuts with. We used a box cutter. Also, uh, this is a little bit of a longer project, so you may want to consider a good amount of food and snacks and plenty of time to get the project done. So the seats here in the third gen Tacomas do have a 14 millimeter bolt in each corner of the seat and then your wiring that connects to your seat sensors you have to unplug before you can get the seat out. So we got the seat out of the truck, all four bolts are out and we unplug these two wires which plug into like your seat belt light and uh, like the weight sensor and stuff. So now we're going to be unlatching these two straps. This is for the upholstery attachment and you fold it back and then you got a few other attachments underneath that we're going to be pulling up. So working your way across the bottom here, we found it is easiest to use one of these small screwdrivers. And basically what you want to do is reach it under these clips and kind of pry it up and out. So you're going to work the screwdriver under the clip, then give it a little tug down, and the whole thing comes off. And you're just going to work your way around. There are some on the back of the seat as well. And uh, like I said, use something like this. You could either use an Allen wrench or something similar to that, uh, but it's definitely better on your fingers to get these little clips off. So looking here at the seat back, it does have the same type of tensioners for the cloth, and you just want to slide your screwdriver right under there, pop them off on both sides, and you'll be able to access between uh, the cloth and the actual seat cushion. So we have taken all the plastic off the side of the seats and removed a lot of the seat cover tensioners. What you'll find is wherever there's a seam going across the seat, you'll have what they call these little hog rings. And basically what this is is a small metal ring uh, that holds on. There's a little metal rod that runs through each seam and that just keeps your seam really tight to the seat, really taut and everything like that. But you will have to remove these to get the uh, heating elements on. Uh, once you can do that, you can start to peel back all of this extra material and expose all of the foam. So your heating elements will lay over the foam here, and uh, you'll want to do that. Let, go ahead and lay it over, and then cut everything to size. So on either side of the heating element, you'll see this uh, kind of tape cover. You're going to want to go ahead and remove that once you have it in place, and go ahead and stick it down. So we went ahead and did that for the back, and ran the wires out between the two seat cushions in the rear. For the bottom though, we did cut out a small rectangular hole and you want to do that anytime you go across one of those seams uh, where the metal is. You don't want any of your heating element coming in contact with those metal rods because it may cause a short circuit or something like that. So we have the seat all buttoned up and we're starting to take a look at the wiring. 
So we do have the wiring laid along the floor, more or less where it's going to go. And we're going to start hooking that up here shortly. We did go ahead and purchase some of these ADA circuits instead of using the kits factory wiring and we think this should simplify the whole process a little bit. Basically what this allows you to do is have two electrical options running off of one of the electrical power sources from a fuse. So you're going to take this and put the fuse that you want to run for the seat heaters as well as the fuse that runs one of the other options in your truck and then uh, you'll go ahead and run this line to the seat heaters to go ahead and power those. And like I said, basically what it allows you to do is run two different things off of one power source. So once you have your seat all back in the truck, you're going to go ahead and connect the two factory uh, wires as well as the two new wires that you have for your seat. So one of these is coming from the seat back, one is coming from the seat bottom, and you have the two corresponding wires with the wiring harness. So you're going to go ahead and snap all those together. as well as the other two. So looking here in your dead pedal area, we do have the ground wire hooked up to one of the factory bolts that's right here in the side. And above you can see the add wire where we tapped into the fuse box and that is where the power is coming from. And we have this green wire that came with the kit and when this is hooked up, this will provide illumination when your headlights are turned on so you can locate your uh, seat heater switch. So we have what we think is everything wired up here. We're going to go ahead and turn everything on. So we connected the battery. We're going to go ahead and turn the lights on. All right, and as you can see, that does display a little green indicator showing where the switch is on the dash. Then as you begin to rotate this dial, you'll see that the orange indicator light comes on. The orange indicator light means that the heating elements on the seat are heating up. You can go ahead and leave that on for a few minutes to make sure the actual seat is warming up. We've gone ahead and done that and uh, everything seems to be okay so we're going to go ahead and button the whole wiring and everything back up on the truck. So we got everything pieced back together here with Chad's truck and everything heats up and cools down as expected. A huge thanks to Bill Simmons and all the guys over at Roster Precision Controls for making and sharing this kit with us. Uh, I would highly recommend it. It does have a really stock look and the seats heat up and cool down relatively quickly uh, and it feels very much like my stock seat warmers in my truck. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And also be sure to check out the description of this video for all of the information about the products that we used. So thank you all very much for watching. Have a fantastic week, everybody, and we'll catch you next time. See you guys.